Did you know that humans actually glow in the dark? Here's a little experiment I like to call glow in the dark. You will need a blue and a red Sharpie. Clear sticky tape, two pieces of paper, a pen, and a marker. First, place one sheet of paper on the floor or propped up against something like a fridge. Now color that sheet of paper with the blue Sharpie. Do the same thing with the other sheet of paper and the red Sharpie. Now place one piece of sticky tape over the blue marker and color it with a pen. Do the same thing with the other piece of sticky tape and the red marker. Now remove the tape from both the pen and the marker and place them on the colored sheets of paper. What you'll notice is that the marker and the pen don't really glow very brightly. However, when you place them on the colored paper, they seem to glow much brighter. This is because the colors of these Sharpies are fluorescent. That means they absorb light in the ultraviolet spectrum and re-emit it as longer wavelength light, which our eyes can see. The blue Sharpie absorbs light in the blue and green part of the spectrum, and the red Sharpie absorbs light in the red part of the spectrum. The fluorescent marker and pen don't absorb any light in the visible spectrum. Therefore, they don't really glow under these conditions. However, if you were to shine a black light into this room, which only lets through blue and red light, then these markers and pens would appear to glow brightly. Now, what does this mean for us humans? Well, our skin contains a pigment called melanin, which absorbs light in the ultraviolet spectrum and reissues it as longer wavelength light. This is why we get sunburned when we're exposed to too much sunlight. The absorbed ultraviolet light damages the DNA in cells, which can lead to skin cancer if it's not repaired properly. However, this also means that we do glow in the dark, but only if we have a special camera that can detect the longer wavelength light emitted by our skin. Here is a picture of a woman in the dark taken with a special camera that can see infrared light. Doesn't she look beautiful? We all glow in the dark in our own unique ways. I've shown this experiment to my students before and they absolutely love it. It's such a fun and engaging way to learn about fluorescence and the electromagnetic spectrum. So be sure to try it out with your friends and family. Let me know in the comments what you think of this experiment and if you like it, subscribe for more science videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.